of being unprofessional because that is the theme of today's Playable.com video. Being unprofessional with Tyler Maynard. Now, by the way, simply the tip of the iceberg because I have a whole thing planned with Scott Wise. His song and dance stories, well, you're literally gonna have a breakdown. But Tyler is notorious for his unprofessionalism. How many times, Tyler? Just the twice. Just in two two times that I can remember. <laughs> two isolated events. No, I mean, including high school and regional <laughs> and all. Just twice. Uh-huh. Anywho, today's also opposite day. The point is, we're gonna tell two, two amazing stories that I'm obsessed with. So you know, Tyler was in the original Ultra Boys. If you don't have that CD, get the CD. He's amazing, crazy. What, what's your crazy high note on that show? An a, a, like an F. Still got it. Anywho, <laughs> so this is the line the way it normally is in the show. There's a scene where, um, who's, who's Andy Carl's writing it? No, who's writing uh, it? David Josephsberg, uh, the guy who played Abe, was writing it. Uh, was right, writing a song. Writing music. And then he shows it to Tyler, and Tyler looks at the music and says, this is first-rate work. This is first-rate work. Okay, so Katsu, how long into the run did this happen? Well, I, I was doing the show, and then I left the show to do a little dolphin musical, and I then I came back. Triumphantly, like Donna McKechnie, the chorus line. Remember, she came back 10 years later? Go on. Yeah, I came back only six months later, and <laughs> the guy playing Matthew was, he was a sweet kid, he was 21, all of this tall, and I had like a decade on him. So I don't know whether I was, I just, I didn't change the line, I just changed the punctuation. He simply changed the punctuation. And, this, and by the way, I was totally in the audience. I think it's because I was in the audience. That's why I, I, I that's think a, that's why I did it, because you were in the audience. Okay, I just so literally, to be a little sassy. So he's supposed to go, this is first-rate work. So instead, he hands in the music. This is first-rate work. <laughs> Come on, it's amazing. It's simply this is first-rate work. <laughs> work. Okay, so yeah, part that two. that lasted about two shows. Then. And then no. written up. Yeah. Okay, first Broadway show, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Swing. Yes. Okay, so who decided to tell you guys to be characters when <clears> this <throat> happened? Dance captain? The show was getting a little, you know, we were we were two, I was two years into it maybe, and, and, and the show was three years old, I think, or something like that. And uh, we got a speech from everyone. Just really invest in your characters, invest in who you are, especially at the end. We all come in for a wedding. Yeah, you're, they're, they're in the ensemble, but they all have to be individual characters. It's so this very is, two bits, you know, like from Oklahoma. It's like, you know, two bits, that scene with all the picnic, and yeah. it's very that, you know, ooh, ooh, you know. I'm a townsperson. It's, it's where you get in a little bit of trouble if you're an ensemble. And fading out. So this is normally how the scene is supposed to go. So um, you come on, and then, uh, so he comes on as a townsperson, and then it's like uh, this big reveal. You can watch Hunter's reaction. Uh, Hunter, Tyler's reaction. It's like, oh, um, I'm not your father. It turns out I'm gay and I have a partner. <gasps> He's gay. And then, um, Donna, will you marry me? Are you kidding? I'm not a bigamist. Neither am I. I'm a divorced man. Let's get married. And then it goes into the dance. Yeah. So that's what it's supposed to go. So anyway, Tyler was irritated. He was told that he had to have a character. So how did you? He's putting words in my mouth. <laughs> so what did I you? I was just trying to develop a character, a really specific, specific character. And so what was your character? Right before we came in on the big jetty, I decided to be blind. The entire scene. Well, townspeople, come out. We have a big announcement. I, I can't be your father. I'm gay. Okay, Lily, not looking at the right person. Um, Donna, will you marry me? Are you kidding me? I'm not a bigamist. Neither am I. I'm a divorced man. And I want to marry you. Let, let's do the dance. <laughs> this is not Broadway. More than 100 a ticket. <laughs> Tell you, are you in a Broadway show right now? No, I'm not. Okay. Only twice. <laughs>